Hey guys, I am Yash. Today I will show you how to add constraints programmatically. Uh, with the knowledge you will gain, you will be able to do animations uh, on constraints and uh, so on. So let's get started. Create new Xcode project. Single view application. Name it programmatically. <coughs> constraints next save it wherever you want uh, so we will be adding nothing in the main storyboard we will also create the button programmatically so let's head over to view controller and get started get rid of this and this okay so first of all, let's create a button, uh, create a function, create button. So let, okay, first we need a variable. Uh, no, let it be a constant. So it will be a button is equal to off type UI button so first of all we will add title to the button button dot set title title will be um, play and uh, for control state it will be an enum which is normal now we will add a uh, uh, title color which will be button dot set title color color will be ui color object dot yellow i like yellow and uh, dot normal for control state now uh, we will add the background color so that we can see the constraints so button dot background color again ui color object UI color dot light gray. I like light gray. So, uh, yeah, we are done with it. Uh, we will not be adding a frame or bounds this time. We'll be auto constraining it. So, let's just play this part. View dot add a sub view, which will be button. Okay. So, here we will do auto constraint trains okay this will be left right uh, top and uh, yeah add a constraints okay I forgot to comment so first of all we will create separate objects for uh, each of the constraint so it will be let left constraint is equal to it will be ns layout constraint and uh, do uh, choose this uh, initialization because uh, there is lot to type now uh, item will be our item which is button attribute is uh, which one uh, so we will be choosing top margin of our button related by is equality so it will be same okay to item uh, let's keep view which is our super view again attribute will be dot top margin and multiplier is a constant so just keep it 1.0 and a constant is 0 okay okay sorry I this is left uh, constraint so make this dot left margin related by quality to super view and again here left margin okay so for right it will be let right constraint equals to ns layout constraint 
with this initializer again button same goes again but this time it will be right margin related by dot equality two item super view attribute again dot right margin multiplier is 1.0 and constant is 0 for top it will be left let top constraint equals to ns layout constraint so it will be button attribute will be dot top margin related by dot equal to item view and uh, attribute again dot top margin multiplier is 1.0 and constant is 0 so let's add the constraints it will be view dot add constraints so these are uh, array of uh, ns layout constraints so we will be adding them one by one left constraint comma right constraint comma top constraint so let's pitch in let's don't forget to put the function uh, below view did load so function will be create button uh, just let's test the app once run it so it is loading okay we have an error uh, let's see what it is so it is saying programmatically constraints layout the view hierarchy is not prepared for the constraints so dot left margin okay is not prepared when added to a view the constraints item must be descendant of the view or the view itself this will crash if the constraints need to be resolved before the view hierarchy okay i think uh, first uh, we need to change this we need to first create uh, add the button to the sub view I think so <laughs> let's run it again see uh, this is learning process right uh, doing it wrong this whole thing is not scripted so even I am learning so do we have a crash again okay this time it's uh, translates auto resizing mask so we forgot to add one thing uh, let's add it it is important so it will be a button dot translate auto resizing into mask uh, this thing equals to false so run again so let's hope it runs so yeah now we can see the button now if you rotate you can see it uh, quite clearly this is the left margin right margin but what is happening when it's in uh, portrait mode so let's try to trouble uh, troubleshoot it I'll show you how to do it uh, open file inspector uh, open main dot storyboard just uh, to test how this constraint thing work let's drag and drop this button here let's manually add constraints to it so we will add a, first of all let's have it horizontally in container and uh, let's pin it 100 uh, okay let's keep it 0 from top 0 from side 0 from side and height of 30 so okay now okay here is the button now what you can do is just uh, open this thing go to 
uh, size inspector and uh, here click on this top line okay double click it so you will see this one double click again now you can see that this first item is button dot top and second item is top layout guide dot bottom so now what changes we need to make in top constraint is it was top uh, it was button dot top right so let's make attribute to button dot top and was equal to item top layout top layout guide attribute was dot bottom so simple right now uh, run hope it works so guys uh, here it is and uh, it looks good so now you finally learned how to programmatically add constraints. Thank you. Keep watching.